Hey beauties, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the one and only Clean Beauty Podcast. Did you know that in America, cosmetics are not regulated? Companies are free to add thousands of potentially harmful ingredients that personally cause me to have health problems. Hi, I'm the creator of Lashbinder and your host, Cassandra McClure. I've worked in the beauty industry worldwide for over 10 years as a wedding and celebrity makeup artist. Now, I'm on a mission to ban 1,500 ingredients by advocating for cleaner and greener cosmetics. Join me every Monday right here for a new episode on the clean beauty revolution. This episode is proudly sponsored by Lashbinder.com, a patent-pending tool that I developed to be the quickest, easiest, and safest way to apply lashes on yourself and clients. If you've ever tried applying lashes, you either use your fingers, which is pretty hard to master, a pair of tweezers, which can be super scary, or you were lucky enough to have a friend like me help you. Those days are long gone with Lashbinder, an applicator that'll have you looking fabulous in under a minute. Are you ready to say goodbye to expensive, damaging, and time-consuming lash extensions or hours spent in the mirror applying makeup? Don't you wish you could apply lashes easy and just go? Let your skin glow and your confidence skyrocket with the perfect pair of lashes applied with Lashbinder. Lashbinder is truly the lash tool you'll ever need. Be the first to get your hands on one today exclusively at Lashbinder.com. Be sure to find us on Instagram at Lashbinder, L-A-S-H-B-I-N-D-E-R. Links in the show notes. Happy lashing. Hey, beauties. Back again for another Clean Beauty Podcast episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm excited to talk to you all about sunscreen. It's summer, it's here, it's happening, and a lot of us have questions about the sunscreens that we're using. Now, I get asked a lot as a makeup artist and educator, what you should be buying, what you should be using, what you should be purchasing, investing in from the store. And I think it's good to go over a few of my favorite brands. I'd love to share them with you. We just did an amazing article on sustainableproject.org where we shared uh, brands. That is Rebecca McDowell and I. She is our guest blogger right now at sustainableproject.org. And if you are interested in blogging about a sustainable topic, just get in touch, honey, because we would love that. So we love when we get creatives that are really passionate about clean beauty uh, over at CassandraMcClure.com or about sustainability or both. In this case, you know, sunscreen is a cosmetic, you know, it goes on our skin, it's absorbed. And it also gets baked, you know, onto our skin longer than most other things. And, you know, it's intentional that we're going to go sit out in the sun or be out in the water or go play sports or whatever. And so I want to tell you about a couple sustainable brands that are specifically sustainable and then also the effects and, you know, why sunscreen is such a controversial and hot topic. <laughs> pun, uh, you know, during summer. So summer is upon us. That means that, you know, we're wearing warm tone makeup and using lots of sunscreen. And I know it's so funny. I was just back home and a couple of my friends were like, I've never worn it, worn sunscreen in my entire life. And I told them, and that's why you're asking me what to do with your wrinkles. And it's true. And my bride last week, she actually we were talking about it and she goes, I bought the beauty counter sunscreen, you know, off you uh, online. And I was like, that makes so much sense. This is your second marriage. You're like in your fifties and you look the same that you way that you did when I used to babysit for your kids 20 years ago. Like she looks exactly the same. So I was like, 
that's your secret? She's like, I wear sunscreen every day. I don't leave the house without it. And I'm like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. And a lot of people have been telling me that I that I never look 30. Like I, when I tell people I'm 30, they're like, I thought you were 25, you know? And it's that we think of 30 as looking age because that's when – you know, our collagen slows down and we start to get sunspots and we start to get fine lines and wrinkles. But no, I've been wearing sunscreen like not religiously like my client Cassie, but I now know like if I go out in the sun, I'm like, oh, I need to go put it on, you know, like I know it and I am trying to be more conscious of it because we only get one skin, you know, our entire life. So like, yes, it regenerates and like if we get a sunburn, it goes away, but like it'll leave behind, you know different hyperpigmentation and like under the UV lights, like we all know we can get sun cancer, skin cancer. And it's just like, it's crazy. I've been spending a lot of, you know, days out on the lake and beach beaches. I was just at a beach wedding literally today. And <laughs> it's funny. I like weddings in the, in the daytime, podcasting at night. Uh, and we do need to protect ourselves from UV rays. And I know, you know, friends are like, oh, I never needed sunscreen and my mom never used it. And I'm like, well, your mom looks about 90. So it it does affect the way that you look. And I always tell my um, the younger girls when I meet them, and I did a couple of girls today, they were like 13, 14. I was like, you're wearing your sunscreen, right? And they're like, why? And I was like, do you want to have skin like this? Look at your mom. And then they're like, oh my God. And, you know, I just, I think it's so, so important. And, you know, even if you're in your 40s and you've never worn it before, you can still stop the aging if you're out in the sun a lot. Like you can still stop it where it's at. Uh, and save your skin a few years because once it starts, it's like it's really hard to go back unless you get surgery. And a lot of people, that's one of my biggest questions is how do I get rid of these lines? And it's like how much sunscreen do you wear? None? Oh, okay. Well, that's why you're getting them. Now let's talk about how to get rid of them. It's impossible. Like it's really hard to get rid of lines and, and wrinkles and stuff. Um, yes, you can do preventative Botox and stuff like that, but still it's like, if you're not helping your skin by wearing sunscreen, wearing a hat, you're not supposed to be out in the sun a lot. Like sunscreen, I feel like people wear it when they go to the beach. A lot of people, it's like, that's the only time they're like, Oh, bikini sunscreen. But you have to think about every day, like driving in the car, like your sun, your arms are getting exposed. Like you're not paste, you're pasty white in the winter. Cause you might be spending more time inside. Like but if you're outside at all, you should still be wearing it, even if you're going out for five minutes. Um, and I know there's some people say, oh, but it's really good to get natural sun for five minutes. It's like it's not unnatural if you wear a good sunscreen. So anyways, here are a couple of our favorites um, and why it's so essential is that even though we wear clothes, unless it's sun protective, it's really not working. We we do these things. We wear these products. We wear these clothes is because this the UV rays are cancer causing. It is proven and not everyone gets cancer, but um, skin cancer is prevalent and it's, it's, you know, the ozone layer. If you know anything about like that, it's like the sun is really strong. And hopefully, you know, this is part of your routine. If you're listening to this episode, you probably know this. But for the new newbies or people that have been against it or just feel that they don't need it, um, you know, they're unfortunately, there's a lot of toxic chemicals that are in the product. So let's save you the grief of going to the store and getting something that isn't, you know, EWG certified. That's Environmental Working Group. Chemicals are absorbed into the body and can be measured in blood, breast milk, and urine samples. Okay? That's very clear to understand. If you think about a nicotine patch, it gets absorbed into your bloodstream. If you think about a birth control patch, it gets absorbed into your bloodstream. So is anything you put on your skin gets absorbed. So the problems with these chemicals are the reactions that they cause in people, including the allergic reaction, the disruption of hormones, and FDA raised concerns about the substantial skin absorption of oxybenzone. Oxybenzone is a word you've probably heard because it gets brought up all the time and its potential to affect hormone levels and the increased absorption susceptibility of children. Okay. That was released in 2019. This is not old news. This is proven. And there are lots of other words um, like other things uh, that you should also avoid in sunscreen. At Sustainable Project, we push ourselves to ask bigger questions. Are 
the ingredients harmful to not only humans, but the environment right? Sustainability is not just about us. It's about where, you know, what the world we're leaving for our children. So it turns out that Mexico and Hawaii have banned many sunscreens that fail to meet these environmentally uh, safety requirements. So sunscreens have toxic chemicals in them that are harmful to coral reefs and contribute to coral bleaching. That means that if think about your clothes, gets bleached. That's what happens to these coral reefs. Everything dies. If you think about bleach, if you let your dog drink bleach, the dog would die. It's the same thing that's happening in the oceans right now. It's very, very sad. And according to Vogue, um, 14,000 tons of sunscreen lotions end up in coral reefs every single year. Now think about you know, your grandparents in the 60s, you know, slathering it on. And that's a lot of sunscreen. It's just not okay. And once you know something, you want to change it. And that's why I am, you know, passionate about sharing this. And I swear to God, I was with my cousin um, a couple days ago out on the boat and I walked past this patch and there was these dead fish floating. And I was like, oh no, like it, it happens even in the sea. You know, we weren't in the actual ocean. We were in the sea and the fish could have died from something else, but we were in the marina. And I know that it's, you know, that's a whole different problem, but the, um, you know, it just made me think about that. And every time I see like, you know, dead animals or anything, I think of, you know, what we're doing to the environment and, uh, you have to also kind of consider lakes. You know, if you're not in the ocean, you have to think, okay, is this harming the the fish that are in this lake, the frogs, all the animals? You know, they're eating this. Is this going to cause them dysmorph- dysmorphia? I don't even know if that's a word. In addition to caring, caring about beauty and human health, we're really passionate about the environment. So we are firm believers in when you know better, you do better. That's what I was saying earlier. It's just like when you know, you're going to do better. So Um, And our mission is to spread the word not only about these challenges, but the solutions. And that's why I'm here for you today. So let's just get into it. Every time you buy something, it makes a huge difference. Every single time you buy a sunscreen, you are letting that company know that it's okay for them to create it. It's okay and you approve of them. So don't just go cheap. Don't just grab what's on the shelf. Like plan your weeks, plan your months and buy things that are good. And you can do this on Amazon. You don't even have to walk into a store, you know? Uh, So Hawaii took action based on scientific facts and will only allow coral reef safe sunscreen to be distributed. And it sucks that it had to get to that point, but I'm glad that they're doing that. But think about California. Like we're all, we're surrounded by water everywhere. We should be doing this everywhere, but it is directly affecting them. I think more than I think the tourism, you know, you go there to scuba dive and stuff like there's not, there's not going to be anything left to, to see if they allow that to happen. And, and, and so that's that, but um, you want to look at certified B Corp. That's a big thing. And a B Corp business goes through a certificate process that means that they meet rigorous environmental and social performance standard. It's a great resource if you're looking, if you just want to go on, you know, certified B Corp, uh, org and just check out stuff there. But uh, Beauty Counter, Counter Sun is my absolute favorite. It uh, provides UVA and UVB defense. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes, um, broad spectrum 30, but it's uh, also in a spray bottle, which is really cool. And it's metal. So um, it's it's really great. It's not, you know, plastic. It is my top choice. It's voted by Allure in 2018. It's voted by Refinery29 as the Beauty Innovator Awards. Go shop with me on beautycounter.com and get this sunscreen. It is the best and I have no shame. It now comes tinted. All right. So no more tinted leg, you know, spray stuff that doesn't have sunscreen in it just get this it's amazing use it at your wedding use it you know where whatever it's it's just great that it comes tinted get rid of your tan lines uh zoka is an is a great one they're a san francisco based company 
All of this is on the blog, by the way, sustainableproject.org, as well as cassandramcleur.com. So you can go on either one, check out the blog, find this post, and all these links are there so that you guys don't have to like remember this. All Good is a great one. It comes in like a butter, like in a tin. Uh, Garden Goddess is another, or, sorry, Goddess Garden is another. It's organic and it's reef safe. There's um, Stream to Sea, Babu. If you've heard of that, Babu Botanicals, um, Tropic Sport, Herba Viva, there's there's a bunch of them. And those are just some of our favorite ones, you know, that are with essential oils and just like really nice. But let's talk for a second just about the hormone disruption and why it's a problem for children. You know, the chemicals are really problematic to the human health. So going back to, you know, pregnant women and young children, you know, we think about who wears the most sunscreen and we're usually slathering it on our little kids, especially on their faces. And, you know, the chemicals have been around for a long, long time, but even back in the 60s, 70s, you know, like we didn't even really test it. So we were just, you know, slathering this all over our kids, not knowing. And going back to oxybenzone, like why it is so controversial is because of the reproductive hormone disruption. It degrades sperm quality in men, um, endometriosis in women. It's just scary. And if you can avoid that, like the sunscreen costs like the same price. Like why don't you just get something that's refriendly and sustainable and clean than getting something with oxybenzone in it? And I know one of my cousins was like, oxybenzone, that's in like all my products. And I was like, yeah, girl, why do you think you have problems right now with, you know, not just if you're trying to conceive, but she's going through um, menopause and she's also having, she's just having major issues. And once she's gone, she went clean, she started buying cleaner things and slowly like, you know, she's like, my skin is better. I feel better. And I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, not only are people having problems getting pregnant, but um, it can affect you in all stages of life, you know, puberty and menopause. So something to think about And I will also say that um, this has the low molecular weight. So this this little oxybenzone stuff is – it goes into your bloodstream. Like it passes through your your human skin. And those are the things that you really want to worry about because they're going, like I said, right into your bloodstream. And – Um, children under two years old do not have the enzyme needed to break it down in their body. This causes all kinds of problems like anemia, vomiting, constipation, abdominal like issues like, oh man, it's so bad. And, um, you know, pregnancy exposure, um, yeah, it's just, it's just bad and I don't want to get into all of everything but if you guys have questions reach out let me know and uh we will chat about it. I'm happy to to do another episode but this was just a hot topic. It's it's been it's been being asked about and you know a couple quick facts uh 40% of the great barrier reef has has declined 85% of the coral reefs in the Caribbean um, and 99% of the coral reefs in Florida. Like it's, it's really a problem everywhere and we should all be taking a closer look at what we're putting on our bodies and uh, event, you know, into the environment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thank you again for tuning in this week and I'll see you next Monday. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Clean Beauty Podcast. I'm so thankful for your support that I decided to start giving away $500 in custom curated clean beauty products each month. Do you want to win? Share why you love listening in a review on iTunes. Then screenshot that review and share it on your Instagram feed with the hashtag ban1500. If you've already reviewed the podcast and still want to win, just repost the giveaway from the Clean Beauty Podcast Instagram feed and you'll be re-entered to win in the next drawing. Good luck! For information on my tour schedule, upcoming events, press announcements, joining my Clean Beauty team, or to book me to speak at your next event, head over to my website, CassandraMcClure.com.